All right, so what do you do when you run a model and you, you do the bootstrap and you have these really strong path estimates like 0.246 should definitely be significant, but then you go and look at the t-statistic and the t-statistic is not significant. What do you do? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to demonstrate this. Execute bootstrap. Okay, see we have this nice 0.246. Excellent, excellent. You go look at the, the dot out file and look at the t statistic. Oh no, it's a 0.38. There's no way that's significant. Well, how is that? I'm going to explain. So we have a sample size of 283. We're doing only 50 resamples. So when you bootstrap, you, you estimate the relationships in your model over and over and over again by selecting a certain number of cases. Well, we're only selecting five cases out of 283. So we're only selecting like little pockets of our data set. So who knows um, if the relationships are going to be consistent with such a small sample size. And what happens is when you have such a small sample size, like five, then you get incredible variance, which drives up the standard error here. And when the standard error is high, like that, oh, that's huge, then the t-statistic is going to be very low. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to increase, first of all, we're going to increase the number of cases we select. So we're selecting a majority of the cases in our sample size. And then we're also going to increase the number of resamples we do. So go to Options, Resampling, and instead of 50, or whatever the default is, I think it's 100, um, put in more than your sample size. So our sample size is 283. I'm going to put in 300. Nice round number. And then for the cases per sample, this is how many cases you select to resample and estimate. Um, pick something that is a majority. So we have 283. I am going to choose 200. There we go. So it's sampling the majority of the cases in our data every time it makes the estimate. So you're not going to end up with these weird pockets of data. Hit OK and let's go ahead and run that again. Generate the bootstrap. It's going to take more time this time around because you're doing a lot more estimation. There we go. Look at the output. See our standard error has dropped considerably and our t-statistic has jumped. 4.74 is always going to be significant for a t-statistic. So that is awesome. And there you have it. That's all there is to it.